Yo, what's good, YouTube? You're back with the Prez. We're back in the kitchen and we're back from vacation. So, back to the grind. Previously, I mentioned I'm starting to bulk. 3,200 calories a day, trying to put some lean muscle mass on over the winter. Now, what you're going to see today, my pre-workout nutrition. Right after this, I'm going to go train. Then I'm going to show you what I eat post-workout. So, right now, my pre-workout meal. Previously, if you guys watched my last full day of eating video, you'll notice I have the same shake all the time. The only thing that changes is one or two ingredients. I either have oats in it pre-workout or peanut butter. It's always sea moss, banana, spinach, whey protein, almond milk. The last ingredient depends on if I'm bulking and cutting. So, on the bulk, previously I was doing 45 grams of oats and no peanut butter. I noticed I was starting to gain a little body fat, a little too much body fat, so I decided to cut back on those carbs pre-workout and go back to the peanut butter in the shake. So the only carb in the, sh in the shake that I have now is the banana. Spinach, I don't count. Remember, it's a green, fibrous carb. So, one banana, one scoop of peanut butter, which is 32 grams, 50 grams of sea moss, 70 grams of raw spinach, cup of almond milk, and a scoop of whey protein. That's in the pre-workout shake. Now, you guys know, I'm big on post-workout nutrition. That's where I like to really carb up. So, right here I have one cup of dry uncooked rice. Don't forget guys, if you're making rice, always rinse it out first, you gotta get them starches off. So, I got a rice cooker, I'm fortunate enough. Easy, simple, this rice cooker's gonna have the rice ready for me for when I'm done training, and I'm ready to eat my post-workout meal. So, stay tuned. Next you're gonna see the routine I'm gonna be training with for today, and you're gonna see the post-workout meal that I'm gonna have to recover and replenish after the training sessions. So, this is a routine I call 21s. It's 21 reps of everything, pyramid style. We start at six as our first set, and we pyramid down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six down to one is 21 reps. So we started this routine, strapped up with 60 pounds, went for 21, weighted pulls with the 60. It's six, five, four, three, two, one, as fast as possible. Left the 60 pound strap the whole time. As soon as I hit the 21 reps, straight to the dip bar, did the same routine. Six down, but since on dips I'm a little stronger, I added in isometric holds after each set, after each rep. I did six reps, held for six seconds, five held for five seconds, four trying to complete in as little sets as possible. So it's 21s, 21 on the pulls, 21 on the dips. As soon as we were done with the 60 pounds, we dropped the 25, so we left the 35 pound strapped on us. We did the same thing again, six down on the pulls, six down on the dips, as fast as possible, no breaks in between. As soon as we're done with that, that round of 21, we dropped the, 20, the 35, strapped on the 25, and repped it out again. Six down on the pulls, six down on the dips, and as little and as fast as possible. Once we were done with the 60, 35, and the 25 pound sets, we dropped all the weight, went to body weight. We repped out 21 pulls as fast as possible now with the body weight. We didn't do pyramid style. We did the 21 reps as fast as possible. Doesn't matter if you do 10, 10, 1, 10, 5, 6, 21 straight. The goal is to complete the 21 as fast and clean as possible. Then we go body weight dips, complete the 21 again. Not bad, hey, what's up? Yeah, it's a good city. Everybody loves it there. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm strapping up. I got a 35 and a 25. I'm going to leave this raw, unedited, straight footage. I ain't going to talk much through the routine. Just stay tuned if you want to watch it. All right, we got 35. See how I train to get stronger. 25. We're going for 21 pulls as fast as possible.
That was six, five, four. Three, two, one, left. A little over three minutes. Now. We're going for 21 again. I did six down on the pose. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna try to hit six down, one clip with the dip. Six with a pause on top, five with a pause on top. Let's go. Six, five, four, three. I owe two, one. Right, we're going right back to the pull-up bar. I'm going to drop the 25. I'm going to do the same routine again. Fast as I can, do 21. Pose. Right back to the dips. Try to hit 21 again as fast as possible. Got 35 on right now.
right back to the dips. All right, let's go. 35 on right here again. Going for another 21 clip. Second hold, three, two, one. We're gonna drop the 35, do it again, the 25, still no breaks. So the only breaks I'm really taking here, guys, is me walking from bar to bar. I'm literally taking the 35 off, putting on the 25, and going right back to the next set. Same thing I did previously. Took the 60 off, dropped it to the 35. Those are the only breaks I'm really taking. As you can see, it gets very fatiguing. I'm only hitting 21 a clip, but it's weighted. Every set is weighted. I'm doing six down pyramid set for everything. The dips I'm trying to do it in one clip. I hit the last two and two clips. Pose, it's six clips. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Dips I'm trying to break as little as possible. So, I'm going on almost 13 minutes now. So, four, three, two, one left on the pose. Go back to the dips.
All right, you're not done. I'm gonna drive for 25. Do one more round, body weight. All right, so three rounds in back to back. Started with the 60 pounds, 21 pulls, 21 dips. Dropped the 60, went to 35, 21 pulls, 21 dips again. Dropped the 35, went to 25, hit 21, 21 again. And now we dropped all the weight on our fourth round. We're doing body weight. Now body weight, I'm going for the 21 pulls as quick as possible. I'm not gonna be doing this six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna rep out as many as I can, break and then finish it as quick as possible. All right, that was 21 pulls so done. 10 the pulls dips. the first set, six, then five. Right on to dips. About 18 minutes, 100 total pulls, 75 weighted, 100 total dips. My bad, my number's off, I can't think, it's a wrap. As soon as we're done with the pulls and dips, rest the two minutes, and we wanted to complete it with muscle ups, same thing. This is 21 rep routine. So we hit pulls, pushes, now we total upper body exercise, which is gonna be the muscle ups, as a burnout as well. So I went for six down, and you're gonna see. Most of us didn't go as according today. So you can see how I scaled down to complete the routine. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned to the end of the video. Bar Naturals. All right, so about to start the 21 muscle ups. It's been about two minutes, maybe three. And you can see, I'm fatigued as hell. That first one did not go good. So let's see what happens. All right, so I caught two struggle ups the first try.
So you can see, lats are super fatigued. I couldn't even hang from the bar right there. It jumped up and my lats were feeling it OD. The burn is crazy right now. All right, I failed again. So, said so fuck it. Let's go to the muscle up jumps. This is how you guys use regressions. And for you guys who can't do muscle ups, look, these are how you do the jumps. And look, these jumps right now are really tough for me. Watch when I go down. I keep my legs up, make sure I come to a full lockout, and then jump up. I'm not letting my legs touch the floor before I lock out. Full lockout in the arms, and then my legs touch. Trust me, guys, it's tough. It's a big negative. You gotta control that motion. So look, me just doing these 21 assisted muscle up jumps is teaching my body to be able to handle this workload after doing all the work that I just done. So the next time I try to do this routine, my body will be ready for it and I should be able to bang out more muscle ups on the bar without having to do these assisted reps. This is priming my body, this is getting my body used to this much volume and this many reps prior to doing the muscle ups. See, even I fail on myself here and there. It's a 21 rep routine. Again, I went for 21 muscles. I was gonna do six down after hitting those weighted pulls and weighted dips. So I wanted to do six, five, four, three, two, one on the muscle ups. You saw I don't even bang out two normally on the bar. I kept trying, I wasn't getting up. I said, fuck it. Jump to a low bar. He said, let me do some jumps. Now listen. That's how you progressively get better. Look, I can muscle up. Fresh, I could rep out probably 10 to 15 clean muscle ups. 
beginning the routine clean. This is the end of my routine. I barely banged out two, but how did I continue? I went and did a regression. I worked the same range of motion, but just with easier reps. Still got the same 21 reps in that I wanted to complete, and I got it done. So everything can be tailored and suited to whatever level you're at. All you need is a lower bar and work on them jumps. So let's get it. Peace out, Bar Naturals. Yo, what's good? Back in the kitchen, workout is done. All right, about to prep the post-workout meal. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna recover and refuel my body after that training session. So, I said guys, I'm gonna keep it real on this whole channel. You guys have noticed, and many of you have asked me before. I smoke every day post-workout. I smoke before I work out too, just to let you guys know. That's just me personally, I don't recommend it. But if you guys enjoy doing it, it works, works for you guys. I have no say against it for you guys. So, as you guys know, I don't drink protein powders post-workout. I like to get my calories from my meal. So all I'm drinking during and after today's workout, I had one and a half scoops of my Thorn Aminos. Listen, I got no affiliation with this company. They're just a good company. They have great products. And listen, you know I preach good stuff. It's got no fillers, no dyes, nothing. That's why I fuck with it. And this is full essential amino acids. Not BCAAs, full essential amino acids. I drink that in 40 ounces of water. I drink that during and after my workout. Now, what am I going to be prepping today? I got my favorite ground bison. Look, I like ground bison better than ground beef. Bison to me just tastes better. It's a tastier meat than beef in general. And in general, bison is a leaner animal and they're usually raised better than cows in general. One, because they're not mass produced and the animal itself is just leaner producing a leaner meat. So I'm going to say this cut is probably maybe 85, 15. Listen, I'm on a bulk, so I'm not worried about the leaner cuts of meat post-workout. I'm worried about getting in the calories. So you saw pre-workout, I pretty much kept the carbs really low. So now I'm going to have 8 ounces of this ground bison. I got the rice cooker going. I'm going to throw in 200 grams of cooked white rice with the 8 ounces of cooked bison. And when this meal is all ready, I'll show you guys it all prepared right before I'm about to eat it. All right, so post-workout meal is done. Told you guys, I got eight ounces. You can see that right there. 8.18 8 ounces of the ground bison. There's 200 grams of the white rice under there cooked. And this is gonna be my post-workout meal today, guys. Simple. Literally took me about five minutes to make this bison. The rice was ready for me when I got home, thanks to the rice cooker. And listen, if you don't got a rice cooker, the rice is easy to make yourself, guys. 20, 25 minutes, and you got your meal set because the beef doesn't take that long. Beef or bison, whatever you choose. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Bar Naturals.